AK-47s for everyone! Brownie points if you know what game that quote is from. Welcome to the AK-47. Hello, I'm Raging Amish, and welcome to the AK-47 in Modern Warfare 3. Honest question, does this gun even need an introduction? Modern Warfare 3 marks the fourth time we've seen the AK-47 in Call of Duty. It's weird to see such an old gun in a game that calls itself Modern Warfare. I know the AK-47 is iconic, but I don't quite get why the devs used this gun over some more logical current designs. Where did you dig up that old fossil? As for the AK in-game, the weapon is available at level 68 and is the ninth of 10 assault rifles unlocked during a prestige. Like most of its brethren, the AK is fully automatic, shooting at a rate of 689 RPM. This is one of the slowest firing automatic assault rifles in the game, second only to the CM901. Don't worry, many features on the AK make up for this lackluster firing. First off, the mag size is decent at 30 rounds. In turn, you also get 90 bullets to start, which is plenty. As for your firepower, it's relatively high, with each bullet doing 49 damage up close and 25 at a distance. Compared to the other automatic assault rifles, this damage is incredibly strong. Whatever he hits, he destroys. Still, 49 damage comes with a huge catch. You will still need 3 shots to kill up close and 4 at a distance. If I had to guess, I'd say at some point the developers scrapped the idea of bonus multipliers to the neck, chest, and stomach area. If that's the case, one multiplier did make it through though, as the AK gets the standard assault rifle 40% headshot bonus. If you're accurate, a headshot reduces your number of hits to kill by one. At a glance, some of you may doubt the AK. Technically speaking, all of the assault rifles can pull off a three hit kill. Does the AK manage to do anything remotely special? To answer that question, I will point you to the bullet range. The AK has the longest damage drop off in the game for an assault rifle, and is tied only with the SCAR. Your bullet damage won't start to fall off until a range of 30 meters, and completely falls off at 45 meters. For reference, the wall in front of me is 30 meters away. That's good. Use the insane range on this assault rifle to break the will of your enemies. I must break you. When we look at the performance of the gun overall, the AK is pretty standard for an assault rifle. Your movement speed is average at 90%, the penetration power is okay. Your crosshairs are typical for an assault rifle, and the idle sway is again average. I don't have anything groundbreaking to say, so we're moving on. For your transition speeds, the AK is definitely lacking. By default, you lower the AK-47 in 600 milliseconds. For reference, this is double the drop speed of the G36C. Your raise speed isn't any better, at a whopping 1.15 seconds. The AK definitely needs some help here. If you don't pixelate a hand, you can count on getting caught while switching weapons. You can expect to lose a lot of gunfights because you don't have a weapon that's ready to fire at your enemy. He beats me. Straight up. As for your aim down sight time, the AK is typical for an assault rifle at 300 milliseconds. Personal preference will dictate if you really need quick draw or not. Personally, I say you do. Keeping with the overall lackluster feel, your reload speeds are also a bit on the slow end. By default, the AK refills in two and a half seconds, or three and a quarter seconds if the mag was completely empty. Either way, the bullets enter the chamber at the 1.75 second mark. These reload speeds really are quite bad for an assault rifle. Extended mags and or slate of hand will help to ease the pain. Thankfully, one area that isn't so painful is your recoil. The AK is the lucky recipient of a recent buff, which makes the gun perform quite well in terms of handling kick. By default, the recoil profile clocks in with a value of 60 heading to the left, 60 to the right, 60 heading north, and 30 heading south. Countering this recoil profile is a center speed of 1400, but that may or may not be accurate. I'm not entirely sure if I have the right recoil profile or the right center speed. The developers recently went back and gave the AK-47 a patch. To make this gun more functional, the recoil has been lessened. This means either the recoil profile has been reduced or the center speed is higher. Either way, I can confirm that the AK definitely is easier to control now than it was at the game's release. Still, I can't deny the truth. The AK has one definite downside that I have yet to cover. Well, is that a fact? Yes, and it could be a painful one. As with every AK-47 before this, the gun features a unique visual kick. This weapon is actually quite accurate, but visually moves and resets between each shot. This visual kick is enough to scare many players away from the AK. Still, here's the good news. Your iron sights are quite clean. 
you really don't need a sight, but if that's what you want, you have options. So let's get to it and see what you can choose. Red dot sight, holographic sight. I'm not a fan of either attachment. As I mentioned earlier, your irons are clear enough. And here's where the gun gets really screwy. Unlike most primaries, picking the red dot sight will not remove the front iron post. This thing sticks out like a sore thumb and always distracts me when using either attachment. Silencer. This thing frankly rocks and is arguably your best option on the AK. Picking the silencer removes your shots from radar and reduces your bullet range by 25%. Losing some power definitely hurts, but your range is high enough by default that it really doesn't matter. Your muzzle flash is reduced, the bullet sound is lowered. The attachment is just an overall win-win. Grenade Launcher for every winning attachment on the AK, this gun has plenty of losers. The grenade launcher is one of them. As I've said before in other videos, the GL, as I like to call it, is really lackluster. You will almost always need both grenades to get a kill. I say stick with other options. It's a fucking joke anyway. ACOG scope. I like using this attachment on some guns, but the AK isn't one of them. The ACOG amplifies your zoom level, yes, but it also amplifies the gun's visual kick. The ACOG is not a good fit. Heartbeat Sensor I have a hard time getting excited about the Heartbeat Sensor. Radar on the side of your gun is nice, but Assassin is popular enough to negate any value this attachment offers. When I use the HBS, I tend to ignore it. I say stick with other options. Master Key Shotgun <laughs> you serious? Hybrid Sights Oddly, I found myself doing really well with this attachment. I'm going to assume that's dumb luck, but maybe you'll experience the same thing. As for the sight itself, my opinion is much like before with the ACOG and holographic sights. The iron post is still there, and the gun kick is very distracting on a high zoom weapon. Use this if you like, I personally stick with other options. Extended Mags Outside of the silencer, this attachment is easily your best option. You get a 50% bigger magazine and 135 bullets to start. I often found myself running out of ammo with the AK. Extended mags helps cure this problem. Thermal scope. Much like with the heartbeat sensor, I don't see the point here. You gain thermal vision, sure, but what's the point? Assassin users show up as gray blobs. I say don't bother. I feel so unsatisfied. To recap, I'm saying your best options are the silencer and extended mags. With one of them picked, or potentially both, the next step is getting the right perks. For the blue tier, I found myself drifting the sleight of hand. By default, your reload times and switch speeds could use a boost. This perk is a natural fit. Still, once you unlock extended mags, I would advise checking out Blind Eye. The high damage on the AK means you can take down killstreaks with ease. As for your red perk, I preferred quick draw. The quick aim down sight speed makes the AK play fast. If you get the first shot off, that's a gunfight you're gonna win. Still, I would advise checking out Hardline. You can count on getting plenty of kill streaks with the AK. It can't hurt to get them for one less kill. Finally, for the yellow perk, I'd say stick to either Dead Silence or Sit Rep. Each ability helps with general combat. The AK is an assault rifle after all, which means your gun is all purpose in nature. It makes sense to pick a perk that fits the same role. Come to think of it, I have to wonder, how many times have I recommended sit rep now? If I had a dime for every time I've said it, I'll bet you I'd be a rich man. Pay that man his money. With the proper perk selected, up next is your proficiency. To me, this comes down to two choices. If you plan on fighting in close to mid quarters, stick with focus, for obvious reasons. If you think you'll be fighting at long range, however, then go with kick. The reduced recoil really comes in handy. Last but not least, for your secondary, I say stick with the machine pistol. I found myself favoring the G18, but it's really your choice. If you do pick Blind Eye, however, I would advise selecting a pistol. Akimbo Magnums are your best bet. These pistols can be pulled out very quickly and are quite powerful. In the end, the AK is a great weapon. That shouldn't be a surprise. Like most assault rifles, the gun is very well rounded. Does the weapon have disadvantages? Sure. The visual kick can get annoying, the fire rate is a little lackluster, and the reloads need an upgrade. Still, these are quasi-bad features, and you have to remember, the strengths more than offset these weaknesses. Your range is great, the irons are clear, and your accuracy is high. Few weapons offer such power in so many situations. It's rush. That concludes this review of the AK-47. Join me next time, where we'll be taking a look at a Japanese weapon, the PM-9.
Until then, this is Raging Amish, checking out.